In the Democratic Republic of Congo, about 50 people, including a few Americans, went on trial today over what the army has called an attempted coup on May 19th. VOA French to Africa reporter Eddie Isango gives us this update, beginning with where the hearing is taking place. The trial is taking place in Kinshasa. Uh, uh, it is uh, in a military uh, prison. It's also a sort of camp where those people, uh, the over 50 people, have been detained since they were transferred from the security service uh, detention. If you can, just kind of walk us through what happened on May 19th in the capital, Kinshasa. Yes, all started uh, during the night. Some people, I think it's about 30 or, or more, they start by attacking uh, the residence of a, a former minister of economy who is now uh, the chairman of the National Assembly. So they spent uh, almost an hour trying to get in, but they didn't succeed. But according to the military uh, spokesperson who gave the information, they also tried to, to get to other officials like the a vice prime minister, minister of uh, defense, but they went there, he wasn't home. Then they were trying to get to the prime minister residency, but they didn't know uh, where it was located. Then after that, they went and get to the national palace that serves for the, 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 the office of the presidency of the, the, the president of the Democratic Republic of Congo, Felix mm-hmm. Tshisekedi. So kind of like they got to that outer perimeter of the the palace grounds, you're saying, and that's about as far as they got. Yes, but all those is located at the same out uh, a very secured area. But astonishingly, they succeeded to enter to the presidency. Uh, it's pretty simple. But I have to precise that uh, when they were exchanging fire at the residence of former minister of economy, uh, the current chairman, they killed two policemen. There was this shootout. Can you tell us about the man who allegedly led this plot, Christian Mlanga, I believe, and what happened to him? According to the army spokesperson with whom I have an interview, the guy was shot dead during the operation. But it said that uh, the side of the Congo, Democratic uh, Republic of Congo, that he is an American, but we know that uh, the State Department said that there is no proof saying that he is an American. But what we know is that he, he was living here in the United States. Christian Malanga is uh, 41, and uh, he was a businessman and traveling sometimes in Africa. And, but according to the military, he was with uh, Two, some other, some other nationalities, like uh, uh, three others, American, Americans and uh, two British national, nationalized Americans. What are the charges that these men are facing, including Christian Malanga's son? They are accused of, of plot against the regime, of uh, attempt of killing, assassination of the, the the president, of financing terrorism and many others. Uh, and today, at the beginning, at, at the opening of the trial, the president, the judge, president says that they're facing a uh, death penalty. That is VOA French to Africa reporter Eddie Isango. Kenya on Friday signed a protocol of the Intergovernmental Authority on Development IGAD on the free movement of pastorists living in border areas in search of pastures for their livestock. Prime Cabinet Secretary and Cabinet Secretary for Foreign and Diaspora Affairs, Musadiya Mudavadi, signed the IGAD protocol on transhumans, which provides a critical framework for free, safe, and orderly cross border mobility of transhuman livestock and herders in search of water and pasture within the eight IGAD member states. This will help in promoting peaceful coexistence, reduce the risks associated with violence, lead to the protection of the rights and interests of pastoralist communities, including their access to land, water, and grazing resources, and further cooperation and coordination among neighboring countries in addressing common challenges across borders, Mudavadi said in a statement issued in Nairobi. The capital of Kenya. 
The protocol regulates transhuman activities, including the movement of herders and their livestock across borders, sustainable management of natural resources, including land, water, and pasture, to support transhuman activities, conflict prevention, migration, mitigation, and resolution. The protocol was adopted during the 72 extraordinary session of the IGAD Council of Ministers of Foreign Affairs on June 24th, 2021, and Kenya became the fifth IGAD member state to sign it after Ethiopia, Sudan, South Sudan, and Djibouti. The three other IGAD members are Eritrea, Somalia, and Uganda. The protocol will be submitted to the cabinet and thereafter to the National Assembly for approval of ratification by Kenya.